Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 67 of our The Restoring campaign in Corps of the Kings 2. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we finished the war with Pest, uh, taking the Dutch of Thames from them. Unfortunately, we actually screwed it a little bit and uh, did not manage to get uh, this temple and barony because it got sieged by the Knights by the Tonic Order. By, but that's fine as well. I still received the duchy, so uh, we're gonna have the jure claims if needed. And yeah, after that we finished our second war with Sweden because we actually changed our ruler. Uh, so now we have this opportunity. Yeah, our ruler is actually pretty great. He's strong, he's a brilliant strategist. Everything is fine. Unfortunately, people are mostly worth enough for this guy who is possessed. But I hope when I'm gonna... Uh, when I'm gonna improve relations with them, they're actually gonna change their mind. So let's go and unpause this game now. Uh, let's go to speed free for now and boats. We need to take all the guys in here. We need to stand down the people from too far away because they're probably not gonna use them. And army in the moor. What would you do? We probably need to destroy some of this uh some of these guy armies. So let's gonna get this bigger one. I'm the cavalry leader, leader, unfortunately, and we don't really have much cavalry in here. Let's get the inspiring leader in the middle, aggressive one on one flank. And I guess myself on the other flank. And so we only have like 44 cavalry in here, but still. I have high martial score, so also this army, I think, could be combined as well. And let's go and try to... Uh, gonna try to kill some armies that are going around here. We're going to scan. It is farm. Let's, let's go and try to capture in scan if possible. There's a... Oh! Oh! Kazaria! No! And you're also declaring for Vitebsk. Not even for these places. Mm. Fucking Kazaria. There always been a problem. Vitebsk. I know it's not the jure part of our kingdom, so... And it's only one province, but god damn it. I'd better if you... I, I would be less upset if you were to take, like, Pronsk. It's like in the middle of your, of your country. What's wrong with you? Stupid Kazaria. Why do you even exist? Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna ignore you for now, but... Uh, looks like we, we, we just have to surrender. Also, we do not have a, an alliance with Goose anymore. Yeah, that's just perfect timing. We have a betrothal between him and... Or between one of his child and one of my child, but... Hmm. Any of your brothers or daughters? Or brothers or sisters need? Uh, like, marriage? So, what, what about this guy? Could I pick any alliances from him? Uh, not really. Okay. That's annoying. Kazere, you are annoying. Yeah, I can't really help him still. He have 9,000 of his own and he's gonna have all of his clans on his side. Uh, and also, this army of Ostergotland. And I need for to look for the army of Sweden, actually. Ostergotland. Why are we... Why are we hostile to you? Because we are taking Ostergotland, actually. I don't know if you're gonna receive any war score for killing your army, but... Let's actually go and, I don't know, start sieging some more stuff. Could we afford it with the supply? Yeah, the supply is actually pretty bad. And now, let's go and kill some armies of Westergotland. And see... Yeah, of course you're calling in all the, all the cons on your side. Should I just surrender right away? It's probably gonna be the best decision for me just not to let all, all of our holdings get sieged. Okay, this battle gave me no war score whatsoever. Great. That was a waste of time. Also, does these guys have siege leader? No, and I don't think we actually have any siege leaders. No, we do. Okay. Sit in here then. I uh, finished training grounds in Lutsk. Okay. 
So, hey, 11,000 of Kazarians. And I have only 3,000 of my own. And even mercenaries not gonna help in this case. Hmm. Or would they? Not while I'm at war with uh, Sweden. Yeah, and this 10,000 is only his personal troops. And his clans also have uh, something about uh, this amount as well. This guy have. Okay, 2,500, that's nothing. This guy have 3,000. This guy have 2,000. And this guy have 5,000. So in total they have like 21,000 troops. Which I can't compete with at all. So... We're probably gonna just assault this place, right? I'm gonna let you suffer attrition, just... Just to weaken you a little bit for the future. But we're probably just gonna try to surrender... Uh, when it's gonna be necessary. Kinsman regard education, just go away. Oh! We just lost tons of troops in here and did not even receive any pop-ups. Great. I like when this happens. Mm. Okay, don't you go for my other holdings. I don't need them to get squished. Of course you're not suffering any attrition in here. Why would you at all? And this guy's probably gonna go for my capital or something around there. Yeah, he's just a sultan. Stripes holdings. Uh, let's just... Hmm. What benefits would I receive if I were not to, sur not to surrender right now? No real benefits, because... Hmm. Actually, if I were not to surrender, I could, like, prolong our truce with him, in a way. So... Yeah, there is no real reason for me to surrender immediately. I could just let this war uh, go and... And no. Just spend some time. And let him lose his troops. All of my troops are already raised, so... I'm not gonna lose much anyways. Okay, that's fine. Oh! Why the heck you decided to have an amphibious, amphibious landing in here? Uh, it is twice as low, twice as less troops. That's strange. Hmm, Paris is no longer my Aaron Spaphood. Spaphood. I have no idea <laughs> what does it mean. Okay, it means Marshal. Let's get a new one. Oh, this guy is actually leading troops. He's pretty great, but... I think it better be uh, sitting in my capital, for now. Hmm. Okay, you're planning to land some more amphibious landings in here? Landings in here? Oh, Romov Uprising. Twelfth in a row. And it's actually <laughs> right right in the army of the attackers. Okay, that's pretty convenient. This time it's actually 4,000, Stra uh, strangely enough. Most times it were like 100. That's weird. Uh, my kinsman is now of legal age. Okay. And we got the Siege of T-Just. Let's go and... Uh, move forward also. And another one. Another one... Uh, how do you call them? General in here, just in case. Another one kinsman is out of age. Okay. Hmm... I'm gonna let this guy arrive in Tijas and probably just gonna take him using this second army. Just not to prevent the siege from happening. Defenders successfully raided the camps of besieging, inflicting heavy casualties somewhere. Mm. Also, why the heck I'm not... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I wasn't the one who were in the middle. Uh, the one in the middle is actually now our chain, uh, uh, now our marshal. Okay, our concubine is pregnant, great. And there is our Rubin against uh, Romova uprising. Okay, at least some help these guys provided me with. 
by fighting my rebels, so at least something. <laughs> oh, he also managed to capture someone. He looks like a priest, I guess. Could we ransom you for anything? Not really. Okay, that's unfortunate. Also, you go and start sieging this place. While we still have decent supply. Because I want to start getting second war score as soon as possible. Yeah, 14,000 troops around here. Plus 3 in here, plus 1,500 here. That's just annoying. And yeah, n n never in the closest future I can't... Never in the closest future I can fight such a huge stack. Only if I were to, like, I don't know, get all the, all of the Scandinavia and some European provinces, I may be gonna be able to raise something close to that. Because this is, this is just ridiculous. And also, when all of my freaking tribal provinces are gonna get converted to the... to the castles, this also might be slightly possible. Also, Kazaria. Do you have any internal rewards? No, you don't. Of course you don't. Mm, okay. Yeah, then I'm just gonna ignore you and let you siege whatever you want. Okay, we improved relations with the guy in here. He's still not voting. Still no one voting for my candidate for some reason. And I'm kind of, kind of upset about that. Okay, we're losing more siege. Procedures in here. And this guy now willing to receive this place, but... Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, of course you're assaulting everything. Because you have, like, freaking tribes. And cities that are... Mostly not defended. Around here. Okay, but I'm gonna have Scandinavia for myself. And they can't reach me in Scandinavia, you... Piece of shit. We've been friends with Kazaria for, like, three centuries, and now... Well, not three centuries. <laughs> it's might be an over-exaggeration, but like, for at least a couple years. And now you're not willing to be friends with me again for some strange reason. Oh, don't go for my capital, please. I need it. 600 defenders, even with all, with all of these upgrades. Defenses in here are still kind of weak. Okay, why is this siege giving me so few percents of war score? No idea. And we won no battles. And actually to f uh, finish the war, I think we would need to win at least one battle. Because it's gonna stop me at like 99% war score, I guess. Oh, we have a son who is an imbecile. Great. Go get educated by, I don't know, some of my vassals. Just let's hope... That you're not gonna become my my heir at any point. The considering that we have uh, that we have votes in here to have elective succession, it's probably pretty unlikely that we're gonna have any chances to succeed. Okay, sixteen thousand of these guys in here, and we have like three thousand. Mm, yeah, <laughs> no mercenary is gonna be enough to fight of this army. Okay, Siege of Gotland. Improve relations with this guy again. I don't really need you to improve relations anymore with this guy. I don't know what. Go to Chelmno. For now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just. You could siege whatever you want. And lose more of your troops. Bastard. Hmm. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm gonna surrender now. Because it's annoying to lose all of the sieges. He's gonna receive Dutch of Vitebsk. Mm, that means only one province of Orsha. It's not too bad, but still annoying. Yeah, yeah. Was it a holy war or just a regular war? No idea. So we lost our direct path. Let's get a new one. Uh, and this guy actually just got vassalized. 
So you now have the restaurants inside here. Okay. It's fine. You jerk. We're gonna pay for that, Kazaria. I'm just gonna shatter your stupid cannon into the pieces. Uh, but for now, let's try to improve relations with you. Actually, we already sent our diplomat somewhere else. But yeah. I need to start improving relations with them and try to pick up an alliance. It's probably not gonna be possible because we already checked and they have these stupid political concerns all this time. But who knows? Okay, one more siege in Gotland and we're gonna start getting ticking war score. Let's hope it's gonna happen soon also. Do we have any personal bots raised? No, we don't. But we probably should be standing out these ones because my vassal is going to be slightly upset about that, and also they're going to lose a lot of money. I don't really care about them losing money, but... Opinion might be useful. Uh, hmm. Okay. Also the war in here ended. So this place is still controlled by the pest. Oh, pest is now shrink down to almost nothing. Okay. And this place, Ungvar and Holy War for Ungvar. So you're gonna lose this province as well. So you're only gonna have uh, this two left and two cities in my place. Oh, actually, you also have... <laughs> you also have one more holding in there somehow. Or do you? No, it's actually just... Strangely enough... This county have the same uh, flag as your country. Hmm, that's strange. Okay, so finish the siege, please. Give me taking war score, and should we just go and start looking for the army of the Sweden, just to be able to pick up some more war score with them? And no, I'm just kind of too lazy to do this, but it might be necessary. How's their supply looking? Uh, relatively decent, actually. Hmm. So we might even combine this army and try to go look for the Sweden army. Swedish army. Or maybe just go and siege their capital as well. So. Oh, the siege leader picked up Trickster. Okay. So, let's go. Let's go get this guy in the middle. Now this guy on the flank. And me on the other flank. And where is the Swedish capital? In Upland. And it's 18k supply. Okay, let's go and siege it. It should actually give me a decent amount of war score, I assume. Also, there are some of Swedish armies. Let's go and actually uh, follow them. And we should need to go to Speed 4 as well. Because it's kind of getting slow. Any chances of me to actually catch it? No idea. Probably not really, so I'll just go to Upland then. Uh, oh! God damn it. Guys, could you please uh, leave this place? I need to siege it. Please leave. Also, oh, you have a pretty uh, great horse. And just in general, this, this guy looks interesting. New Realm! Ken of Khazars, after winning the war against me, made Baresti. Oh my goodness! This one is actually quite huge. And it also includes Orsha he conquered from me. Okay. Any chances that this is gonna make King of Khazars not hate me? Oh, and King of Khazars currently, or Khan, uh, is imprisoned by someone. Hmm. Okay. You're still hating me. What is your capital now? In there. How's my diplomat looking? Yeah, let's go and start improving with you. Maybe now that you have less borders with me, you're gonna be considering... ...a marriage offer. Also, we just... ...started suffering... Oh, why are we suffering attrition here? Nope. No idea. Even the supply limit is fine. Kind of weird. Oh, because, uh, yeah, because these provinces are not, uh, aren't actually hostile towards me. 
Hmm. Okay, what are we gonna do with this? Let's just... Let's go and find his army. Because this guy's now preventing me from sieging the capital. Oh, we improve relations with Kazaria immediately. Okay. And you do not have any siblings so I could really marry. Oh, that's not helping at all. We have army of Upland. It's probably not gonna give me any war score. I need the di direct army of Sweden, if it still exists. And it should exist, I think. Yeah, I have like nine, 900 somewhere around here. Mm, we need a new... Oh, my diplomat just improved the relations and died. Immediately. Okay, let's get a new one. And actually, it is already time for me to have a break, guys. So, I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue in the next episode. And let's hope we're gonna be able to finish the war with Sweden relatively quickly. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should have to do it. And I would answer you as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.